It's 6 a.m. I'm up early to go up to visit Windy Miller, my fixed gear crit race sponsors. So if you saw my last video, you'll have seen that at Red Hook Crit Brooklyn, unfortunately I was involved in a crash and I wrote off my brand new bike. So Windy Miller are going to fit me and I'm going to get a brand new custom bike because uh, the other bike, because it was a bit of a last minute deal, that one wasn't actually fitted to my size. So we're going to start from scratch. I'm going to get um, onto the bike fit stand. They're going to take all my measurements and then they're going to des design a new frame for me. I also get to help design my new paint job and I how wild can I go? I don't know what the parameters are. So it's going to be exciting to meet the paint designer, the graphic designer and visit the paint shop hopefully. In other news, I am having a real bad run of luck. So I was involved in a crash in Brooklyn, obviously you guys know that. But then at the weekend I went and did a road race and... I was three kilometers from the end and I was feeling so good, really good. Three kilometers from the end and riding along in a real tight group. There's a girl just slightly in front of me. All of a sudden she loses control or something and she like bounced to the right and my friend was there and she kind of ricocheted off her, bounced to the left and there was me just behind her on the left. I had nowhere to go except into her and there was a massive pile up. My hand hurts so much. It's the opposite hand to the hand I hurt at Red Hook Crip Book Brooklyn. And I mean so much that I couldn't sleep properly last night or the night before. I had to get up in the middle of the night and take painkillers. So, having a bit of a sorry time. So, I'm going to jump in the car. It's about three and a half hours drive to Windy Miller. And I need to get there and back here in time to go to Chain Gang tonight. So, I better get motoring. <laughs> God, I'm here, four and a half hours later. It's a beautiful day, 26 degrees, and I've just been sat in a car. Now I'm gonna go indoors and do my bike fit, then spend another four and a half hours in the car. Oh well. Hello. Feeling a bit hot. Yeah. Ah, Kira's bike from Red Hook. She managed not to crash. Lucky Kira. <laughs> Hello, are you ready for me? Nearly, <laughs> So time to get this bike fit underway. Please ignore my embarrassing sock fail. Look, pet hate is not wearing proper socks when cycling, but I forgot my socks, so. I'm trying to hold this. So that's the bike fit done. Obviously the design of the bike it's going to be done by David and we've been talking about all sorts of things such as carbon layup, where to have it stiffest at the rear end obviously and all sorts of things like that. So I'm going to leave that in his capable hands and now we're going to go and talk about the, uh, the paint job. So I've got a few ideas and I'm going to see what they reckon to them. They said I could go as wild as I want so why not? Hello. <laughs> um, so basically what we're going to do today as we're going to discuss the relevant design work for uh, Juliet's bike. Uh, we've got a digital mock-up, we've got some colour tones to work with and we've got the old school pen and paper. So we're going to try and hash out the first component on paper and then start picking some colours mm -hmm. and look at some uh, design aspects on the digital variant. And then we take the digital variant up to paint and we see if they allow us to paint <laughs> what we've decided to do. Awesome, yeah. yeah. Cool. So what we need to do, obviously, Never mind the rooms. First thing we need to do is decide on say two to three colours. So do yeah. you want to go colour? Do you want to go black and white? Because it's the kit, you want to go colour. Cool. Yes. So three colours, what do you want to do? Well, I've got some Yeah, you've got ideas. some reference there that makes life very easy. Okay, so I thought 70s hot rod. Lovely. What do you think of that? So it's like a phoenix. So, what, like have, so what have we got there? We've got like purple. Purple to ready orange to gold. Can you guys see that? The second phase is to figure out the little 
fixtures and finishes that yeah. you get. So whether it's your name, or like a little bit of a step and repeat pattern, or if it's like a pinstripe detailing, what is it that you want to incorporate? Or what do you want to bring into it? We can look at pattern. Yeah. We can look at like pinstripe. Mm -hmm. Geometrics is not going to work with it because you're going 70s. They've got the curl and the flame. Mm. What about doing a flame? Well, see, initially I thought no. You don't but want it to be too wild. I'm thinking maybe. <laughs> So uh, this is Paintworks. This is Luke, a Sam, and the Sia over there. And we are now going to talk about your bike, and hopefully everyone will allow us to do what we want to do. The ball here regarding the purple. Yes. I'm thinking of having it sort of in between these two just because this has got a little bit more of a red tinge. Yeah. So it will probably blend in so much nicer with um, with the candy red. And it would also be a little bit easier. Yeah. It will be more of a, a fade. It will be a nice subtle fade instead of like a, a line. Yeah. So Lucia has okayed the concept. She likes the idea of the 70s hot rod and the colours and the flames. She's happy to paint it for me. So I'm really stoked. I can't wait to see what this bike's going to look like. Ah!